remember guys, it's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be challenging. Okay, you're not supposed to be like throwing the weight around. If you're throwing the weight around, then you're not really putting the muscles under tension. And you're supposed to be making it difficult. And you're supposed to do sort of like a screen test to make sure you can pinpoint your weak points like I'm, I'm doing right now, believe me. Okay, there's a lot I'm learning right now about my body from not being able to, being able to do these for like the last couple of months. I already know how bad it is not to do this. Okay, which is why I tell everybody to do it as much as you can. Well, when you live in a seasonal environment like we do here in Canada, unless you have an indoor gym where you can do that, where you're doing heavy walks in the snow, which I wasn't. I've been at this school, this property all my life, okay? Almost 50 years. And uh, the principal of this school didn't like me and I didn't like him. And uh, he tried to ban me off the property. And uh, I wasn't allowed to train during school hours, which made it a lot of difficult. And he's a jerk because apparently we had a lot of mutual friends very close mutual friends and he looked like a jackass after after I explained what a jerk he was trying to ruin our workouts for what anyways what do we got it's feeling good oh 30 minutes what else we got here 
coffee. You bring your coffee, you bring your water, you bring whatever you need, and you get your work done. Even if people try to kick you off the property, go find another property, which is what I had to do. Ugh, boy. Watch. Put some tension on my rear delts. For some reason, they feel weak today. Uh, everybody do you guys bored yet good conditioning and I tell people to do this before their breakfast for their uh, before they eat breakfast lunch dinner do it before you eat I'm gonna do it now before dinner get my cardio in get my food in and uh, then it's my time the coach's time all right, what else we got here? Maybe it's time to play around with this guy again. These guys are too short. Okay. And here I am banging up my bars, huh? Oh, 
Okay, we'll get new ones. I remember a few years ago, <laughs> what a summer that was. I got kicked out of two gyms that summer. Anyways, after I left the first gym, because I used to do a lot of sled work there, I said, uh, if I don't find the sled, I'm gonna lose a lot of my conditioning. I knew that, I was just trying to teach some coaches, up and coming coaches that. Uh, not that I don't have access to a sled, it's just that I don't like using uh, I don't like using my uh, clients' equipment. It's just that, uh, I don't know, I've never uh, never enjoyed it, never liked it, and never got used to it. And that's it. If I need something, I can get it. But I don't like to cross that barrier. But then I found another gym that had a sled. And I got into amazing shape because the sled was better and the turf was harder. Boy, it was a gru gruesome. So now, a little bit early guys because it's like six degrees out here it's cold right so, 
but if I can come out and do something, even if I gotta put on a winter coat, I'm going to start doing it because uh, I love it. And I know I get back so much in return uh, for my hard work. Uh, so let's, let's keep going, let's talk.